A huge shout out to Maddie for joining up to the Patreon community. The Boeing 737 MAX situation continues to worsen following a very frustrating update surrounding the electrical issue that has grounded over 100 aircraft within the past few weeks. Stay tuned to find out what this means for the aircraft. BBL 51, turn right, heading 180. Before I begin, you can follow my new second Twitter account, DJ's Transport, for all the latest information for my second YouTube channel coming to your screens very soon. Earlier this week, Boeing confirmed that they had halted all deliveries on their 737 MAX, only actually after recently seeing the type return to being delivered, following a very lengthy spell on the sidelines during a period of time where Boeing were not only heavily scrutinised, but also were taking the time to adjust their aircraft and making sure that in the future it would be safe to fly on and suitable to be recertified by not just the Federal Aviation Administration within the United States, but also other regulators like that of European, Asian and of course Canadian, Brazil and so many more. They were busy working on the MCAS and sensors that were the cause of two major incidents in October of 2018 and March of 2019 with Lion Air and Ethiopian Airlines respectively. Following an emergency airworthiness directive issued by the US Federal Aviation Administration to fix issues on the 737 MAX with the electrics, deliveries have now officially been suspended, only impacting Boeing and customers further. Just as I should mention, things looked likely that they were returning to somewhat normality. The FAA confirmed that a total of 109 737 MAX units around the world had so far been impacted by the issue which is now a lot more than what we saw was first reported. Initial reports noted that only a couple dozen aircraft had been impacted by the electrical issue, but following further inspections that naturally take place, that number has greatly increased to, as it stands now, at just over 100. It's a move that could not come at a worse time, especially if we take a look at the American carriers, like that of American Airlines, Southwest, United Airlines, and so on, who are preparing for a surge in domestic travel this coming summer as they see restrictions relaxed following a successful vaccination program. They are therefore relying on the 737 MAX, a newer aircraft, to carry their domestic travel. Over this coming year, Boeing is still expecting to catch up on deliveries with the aircraft, However, there has been no actual prediction or date given by Boeing executives as to when deliveries will resume for the type, meaning it could very easily not just be a two-day fix, where then deliveries say resume and it's just a minor blip. It could be a couple of weeks or more. However, on that front, it is totally speculation for me. As mentioned, there is no firm date. Boeing, though, still remains pretty confident that they can see the type not just return to service and see deliveries resume, but actually remove any potential small issue. What are your thoughts on Boeing announcing that they will be suspending all deliveries for their 737 MAX until they can sort the issues with the type? Let me know down below in the comments section and thank you so much for your, and thank you so much for the continued support.